Hey everybody, Akers here. Welcome to the Long Dark. So, we are ready for the Whiteout Challenge. We just completed the Nomad Challenge in the last series. And, um, let's go back here and show you the badge that we got. Oh, that's a little bug. It seems like the first time you come in here, this is blank. You have to kind of jump up here, go back, come down here, and then there we go. You can see your uh, little uh, scout badges there, or scout patches. So here's the one that is still locked, Whiteout, and this is the one we just completed, the Nomad. So... Let's head on back here. Let's get going on this challenge. Start a new challenge. Let's create it. It's going to be four out of five hatchets difficult. A monster blizzard is on the way. Will you be ready when it arrives? The storm arrives in 30 days. T minus 30 days. Stockpile enough food, water, and supplies at the coastal highway Quonset garage before it hits. Challenge accepted. So we were uh, Will McKenzie last time. We're going to be the uh, slimmer and prettier version of Will McKenzie and better armed version of Will McKenzie. That is my uh, my gender fluid choice for this series. Okay. So basically what we have is we have a list of things. Here we go. Stockpile food, water, and supplies listed in your journal. Store them in the Coastal Highway uh, garage at the starting location. So we're where we need to uh, finish this episode. But before 30 days is up, we need to collect 15 days worth of food. Collect 20 uh, softwood or hardwoods. Uh, reclaimed wood, we need 30 of those. Sticks, we need 50. Tinder. Badges, or bandages, matches, rifle, rifle cartridges, we need 10, hatchet, lantern, portable water, kerosene. Now, I think this is in stalker mode, so just need to be uh, aware of that. Um, I'm thinking we could definitely go up to Timberwolf Mountain and probably get everything we need. Um, however, I feel that uh, the safe play here would be just to head over to Mystery Lake and go grab, like, the rifle, the rifle cartridges, the hatchet, the lantern, and... Um, basically try to accumulate enough kerosene which shouldn't be a problem along that along the way there and then we can come back here and just start you know crafting everything we need bandages we can make out of clothes matches we'll we'll collect plenty of those along the way i don't think this is going to be honestly i don't think this is going to be that difficult um that being said there is absolutely nothing in the garage here including a working radio of course never is so let's get on out of here and let's get moving let's find somewhere to go where we can uh start to better our situation. All right, so let's head on here. Thank God there's no blizzard yet. It's 23 degrees, so it is a little bit cold. Kind of watch out for the uh, patrol wolves. They are thick through here. All right, let's just head in here and get started. I need to actually take a look at my inventory, I sort of. All right, 86% on the gloves, 66 on the hat. That's pretty good. What do we got here? Thermal underwear, I was hoping for wool. We got some wool socks. We got some nice work boots. Six matches already, so I think what we have to do is you have to actually put these items into a locker or you have to drop them inside of the uh, uh, inside of the hut. Otherwise, they don't register So uh, as far as being uh, uh, you'd get credit for them. So even though we did have six matches, it's still showing here as us only having zero. So still having zero. So let's get started here with some food. I don't know what is considered a day of food, so we're going to have to experiment with that, see exactly, uh, or, or try to get a good estimation of what, how many calories that's going to be. So right there, bam, 20 matches. All right. So we can pretty much just go back, drop those off, and then we just need to collect a few more matches and we're good to go. Uh, we could run around with only one match having, uh, a, you know, drop our six matches, drop five of those six, we'd have 25 in the, in the hut, but I'm not going to drop all but one match. Not until I find a fire striker, at least. All right, so we gotta see some peaches down there to the bottom right. I don't know if you guys see them as well, but uh, I see some pancakes too. But those aren't very good. I've tried those before. They just they taste like cardboard, honestly. All right, so newsprint roll. We can make that into tinder plugs, no problem there. Uh, we could crack all that stuff down into. Uh, I mean, we're ba I'm basically looking at this stuff here for, uh, uh, you know, for. Um, I'm not going to even try to accumulate any reclaimed wood because I can just come around all these houses and just tear these places to pieces once I get a good hatchet and a good, uh, who was this? Then we'll sweater. We'll take it. It's probably better than what I have, actually. What do I have? Uh, yeah, it's better than the one I have. All right, so let's switch that out. We can tear that into rags, bam, and then we're going to have bandages immediately following that. But we do need to make sure, oh, speaking of bandages, we do need to make sure that we actually have bandages to survive. I think our wool socks were in pretty good shape, weren't they? Oops. Wrong. Getting a little click, a little too quick with the clicks there. All right, yeah, really quick actually. My hands are just a mind of their own. All right, so we're just gonna loot this place here. 
take everything back, do a little quick little assessment, and then move from there. Again, like I said, my goal, I'd like to really get over to, uh, to, uh, that's better. Uh, yeah, that's better than what we have. Let's put that on. Um, I think we're, I think we're pretty good as far as wearing the best items. Best be prepared New wool for socks. anything. Wow. Wow. I don't know which is better, the work boots or the leather boots. I imagine the leather boots are going to be better, right? Oh, no, they're worse. Okay. Much worse. Okay, well, let's put on the basically used once and forgotten about uh, wool socks there. So we're, we're already, we'll take those. We can always break those down. We need to accumulate water, so we need water anyway just to carry, so I'm just going to take all that. Basically, I need to get myself situated just for traveling around first, and then after uh, after we get ourselves squared away, then we can start stockpiling. We got any food in here? Nothing. Oh, come on. Was there... Did I, check? I already checked the microwave, didn't I? No, maybe not. Cabinets all checked. Didn't miss any. Okay, let's get going. Be nice to find the odd rifle round laid around here, too. Alright, so... There's a wolf right there. Let's head back here, see if we can figure out the system for collection and all that stuff. Oh, you hush now. Very territorial, aren't they? They're so territorial. Now... I was watching Willow West, and when she did her playthrough, the lockers was bu were bugged. You put items in the locker, and they wouldn't register. So let's check this out. Let's experiment with these matches here. Let's throw those in there. Transfer all. Let's see what happens with our... I think they probably fixed that, I imagine. Yeah, so that, the lockers are now working now. We're getting credit for 20 matches there. Um, all right, what else do we have on our list that we can drop? Let's make up some... Uh, we'll do bandages when we're here and we're about to rest or something like that. I'm not too worried about that. What we can do is just throw some clothes. We can make this a clothing locker, I guess, since we do have an abundance of clothes. Let's just throw that in there. Uh, a few flares is always good to carry around, especially when you don't have a rifle. Uh, leather boots, we'll throw those in there. Bandage, yeah, we'll keep that. I don't think we have much. No, we don't have any antiseptic or anything, so it won't be long before we find some antiseptic, I, I would imagine. So let's just experiment with the food and see what we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many calories is each of these? Uh, let me do a quick little bit of math here. I know, I'm sorry. It's going to be cop math, so it's going to be really butchered up here. 350, 300, that's 650, plus another 250, um, 750, 850, and then that'd be 900, and then that would be, what, uh, 11, wait, no, 900. Uh, yeah, that'd be uh, 1150. Um, 1150 plus, that'd be 1600, that'd be uh, 2050, 2300, and then 2600. So we have 2600 calories here. Let's dump all that and see what happens as far as our day count goes. Alright, let's see here. Uh, how many days of food? We got 0.8, so yeah. Let's just go ahead and grab a little bit of food out of here. In the meantime, just for traveling. We're going to find some on the road. You know what? I'm not even going to travel with any food. I, let's check, check our steps. I'm not even going to travel with any food. We're going to find plenty while we're out. Let's just hope we don't get eaten here. He's probably still hanging out here. We'll see. Did he move on? Looks like he did. I see him. I see him over there. Alright. I think I'm just going to go straight back towards this one. I'll loop my way around. Because I, I think I see him walking down the road there. I kind of want to go that direction anyway. But there's still a couple houses worth checking up here. Uh, as soon as I find the front door to this place, jeez. There we go. Alright, let's do some more accumulating here. Energy bar, that's going to help out. Get us to the uh, one day mark there. Ooh, that'll help too. Of course, in 30 days that rabbit's going to be cooked. Or, not cooked, it's going to be uh, completely uh, rotten. So, we'll probably just use that to eat, you know, to, uh, to survive. There's going to be a couple boxes of crackers. That condensed milk is going to be good. These are all really big. This is so far so really good. Alright, let's grab these crackers. Let's check the microwave. There's never anything in the microwaves. Oh man, yesterday at work, jeez, 
I was telling you in the uh, Nomad series how my uh, partner's really, you know, he, he had a really good bust when he uh, take it. moldy rat. We'll cook that up and we'll store it. Uh, how he uh, had a pretty good arrest where he caught the guy with the uh, the drugs and the gun underneath the seat and the scales and the all the uh, baggies for uh, were, were in the mason jar along with all the drugs. Oh, there's our there's our matches. We just hit our match goal. Um, and uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Well, he he yesterday last night he he was a uh, he's a digger, so he's out there trying to see what what happens. I guess his car went flying past him. You know, 25 mile an hour. I'm going about 20, going about 50. So he flipped on it, tried to try to stop it, and a pursuit it started happening. So ooh, score! <laughs> Holla for a dollar. All right. Um, but uh, we had a little pursuit. Went about five, six miles, and no plates on the car that he could see. It was like a silver Buick. Uh, all he could tell was maybe pot. He couldn't even get the the model of the vehicle. Uh, which Buick was? Those are not. That's a good find. All he could tell is that it possibly a black male passenger by the the cornrows that he had. Maybe they were like I guess they were like little puffs or something. He said it was uh, maybe just that's about all he could tell. <laughs> and um, anyway, they were going like uh, through some other neighboring uh, cities towards towards Dayton, and uh, uh, I ended up just calling the chase because he went through two red lights. I mean, it was like 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. He went through two. Uh, two red lights and started driving on the wrong side of the road for a little while like not too long probably just a couple blocks but then there was no traffic but i already checked all those we checked we checked all these yes so i uh, had to jump in there and say yeah it's not worth it just you know terminate the pursuit and uh, he did so they got away that time but uh yeah pretty sure that was going to be an unreported stolen car no plate in the back and uh the way they were driving i guess they were almost uh instigating like almost looking for a police chase they, they uh once he got behind him they started jerking the car back and forth and uh almost like trying to get to get a rise and uh if that's the way they're going to be we're not going to they oh and they were also going through a construction zone so they were coming up on a construction zone that was active at night so i was like nah, nah we're we're done but uh yeah a little bit of for for this small little quiet town I work in, quite a bit a little uh quite a little bit of action there. Okay, so we'll transfer that. See if we get a check mark. We should. There we go. Check mark. Okay, so that's how it works. We need ten bandages, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, we got some more food and stuff, don't we? Here for our food clothing drawer. You know what? I think I'm gonna put my food in a different cupboard here, just to kind of keep track of things. Let's throw our now we got that nice coat. That's gonna be great, and we got these mittens, which we will definitely fix up. Um, so in the meantime, let's get rid of these because I'll wear these until I'm able to fix them. They're not gonna fall apart that quick. But let's see here. Yeah, apparently he he uh, couldn't even uh, really get a good good look at the at the driver. For like a silhouette to see if it was maybe a female driver, male driver, couldn't even see that much. So, you know, it's not worth it. For, for basically, his only charge was marked lanes and speeding, and uh, that's not worth you know him going through another red light and, and t-boning some, you know, hardworking citizen on their way home to their family and killing them. You know, that's just oh my gosh, to be like the world's worst day you're out there to try to help people and uh because yeah directly it's directly because of them running but indirectly because you gave chase and you happen to be there at that time yeah that ends up happening to you that would just be absolutely tragic all right so let's take a look here at our clothing i do want to put that on and i do want to put those on we're getting a nice little warm oh and the hat of course that's better than the uh this hat will be better than the wool hat. All right, let's stick with the wool hat for now. We'll come back and repair this one. I think that's what's going to take so long in this challenge is you got to make multiple trips. So maybe we're better off just searching this whole island first and then and then accumulating everything here and then going out with a very specific shopping list to the further, you know, don't go shopping, you know, a couple cities away, um, basically for everything. Get as much as you can close to home, and then go buy those specialty items when you do have to travel. That way, 
uh, because if we if we try to collect everything from from Mystery Lake, um, we're gonna have to make multiple trips because we won't be able to carry it all. That's the big problem there. So, all right, let's get outside here. As soon as it's nighttime, what? two hours of daylight left. Let's see if we can make it over to the island without getting munched on. Do my best here. Get a get a flare out and ready, just in case. I know I do want to check those cars, but I kind of want to move across while we're not getting growled at. This is sort of a dangerous place to check cars. I've been, I was a trip, a, a triple attacked by uh, wolves getting out of a car once. Oh, can I get in there now? An inactive basement. All right, let's go in here. Search this house real quick here. We got some crackers, another flare. I don't think we need any books, do we? It would be nice for a major blizzard just to curl up with a book. Uh, this is going to be a bit difficult to search. Okay, just because of how it's starting to get a little bit dark. Ah, cooked venison, that's good. And that was fresh too, huh? How creepy would it be if you found a coffee and it was still hot? You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> it wasn't the wolves, it wasn't the bears, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't the rabbits. Or the deer. What caused that? That would be uh, a little... Well, it would be you give you hope, but at the same time, you'd be like, uh, I am a burglar right now. That is exactly what I am, and there's a good chance that should somebody walk in that door right now, I will get shot. Of course, I found a rifle at that point, just the wrong end of it. All right. Coho salmon. Nice. Look at that. That's how many days. That's going to be like almost an entire day right there. Ooh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do fishing. We're out here on the coast. You can catch salmon out here. And uh, what we'll do is we'll do fishing towards uh, towards the end, so we'll have a big stockpile of fish. That'll be excellent, because that's a good way to really get a lot of food. At least it wasn't Voyager back in the Nomad series. The cargo pants, nice. Put those on right now. Heck yeah. There we go. Things are starting to look up for us. Burglar Simulator 2016. Mm -hmm. Thin wool sweater, in good condition, okay. we'll take it. Am I missing any drawers? No, there's probably a cabinet there, though. So. Oh, there we go. That's the one I'm going to wear right now. Let's put that on. That should be... Man, that was actually warmer, huh? It just doesn't get the wind chill bonus. I mean, I know the, the conditions aren't the same. The, the toque is a little bit worse for wear, but... Let's make sure that I'm not missing anything here. No rifle ammo. Another flare. Do we need any flares? No, we don't actually need any flares. Okay, I was collecting flares like I'm collecting flares like we're we're desperate for them, but apparently not. I think I got plenty of water. Yeah, I got almost a gallon. How much water do we need though? Six. Oh, I can I can brew that up in no time. So I'm not worried too much about the food. I'm not too much worried about the water. I can always go out there and just start slaying some some uh, deer or some deer and some wolves if I need to, um, or even a bear if I had to. With the uh, with the rifle, yeah, for you know, let's do that. Okay. Well, you know what? One hour daylight left. I don't know. I kind of think we should just keep exploring until we uh, wear ourselves out. Because here's the thing. I want to run back there and dump all this stuff. Here's the thing. Um, nighttime now with uh, how how nice they've made it. Unless there's a storm going on outside, it's perfectly. Uh, it's perfectly understandable or understanding that you could uh, or how should I say it uh, it's perfectly reasonable to go out and walk around at night because they have the, the lighting effects down so nicely now all right let's head back in here um, okay let's throw this this will be our food here uh, yeah we'll probably have to eat that before the 30 day mark it'll probably start to go bad or we can cook it up maybe get a little bit of extra life out of it I'm not sure if that's going to last the entire time but hey that's fine it's all good I'm going to keep that with me like, because I will want to eat that before it's not really that much and there's a cooked oh, it's a, they're both cooked good okay so I'm going to keep those two with me for traveling food um, they'll probably draw the wolves but I don't know I'm going to start Seeing if I can actually carry that around or not. See see what the detection 
if it's if it gets to be too bad, I'll just scarf them down and be done with it. But we'll see how how well we can do with uh, with those. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna. I was like, did I check the register? That's right. This whole place is completely gutted. Forgot about that. Oh, someone's uh, not not necessarily uh, having a bad go of it. Just trying to get settled. So, got the little ones down. Alright, let's see if we can make it over here to this island for the night. Oh, shoot. Part of me wants to pop it, but nope. You know what? Let's just stay here for the night. He was freaking lying in wait, just waiting to ambush me, wasn't he? Alright, let's head in here. Um, let's rest for an hour or two, try to get him to disappear real quick. Once he gets out of our immediate area, we'll try to cross the lake. As long as it's still... The lighting's still pretty decent outside and the weather looks pretty good. Wow, it's really dark. Man. I don't even know if I can find my way out of here. I think I can. Yeah, that's the door. Okay. That's really tough to see. Imagine it was pitch, pitch black for you guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with traveling as long as there isn't going to be a wolf behind this burnt house. Again. See if there's a hatchet on this dock like there is on the timber wolf, right? Like stuck in the side of it. Before I jump off, I want to make sure. Okay, I'm not seeing a hatchet anywhere. There's a frozen deer there. We can leave that. They can grab some meat off of that at the very end. I don't think this one's going to go bad. Um, we need to just be a little bit careful about there possibly being a bear wandering around out here. Maybe it's stocked? No. Okay, let's keep going. Eyes, eyes front, right? Oh wow, check out that moon. That is nice. Alright, we're going to check out this fishing hut on our way up here. Misanthropes Island here. Armed with my handy dandy flare. Oh, it looks like there's some weather moving in. See, it's kind of getting a little bit uh, hazy over there. I don't know if that's uh, I don't know if that's blizzard weather or if that's just fog weather. Either one, I don't like to be out in, and I really don't like to have to make my approach up this way because yeah, that's a bear right there in front of us. See that rock that's moving? That's a bear. All right, let's head in here see if we can find anything worthwhile. Herbal tea. I don't even know if that counts. Some more matches. I knew we were gonna. Get the matches, no problem. Hit that match goal pretty quick. Useful. Ste ski gloves. Uh, you know, I'm gonna leave those. We don't really need all that. This newspaper print, I don't need that either because I can make a lot of the tinder plugs that I need just from things that I find. Okay, this is make sure cedar firewood. Cool. I'll take that. And uh, here's the bear. Yeah, you can kind of. Yeah, let's let's just uh, let's just let him have. Let's let him have the right of way. I want to actually go around to the front of this island and then go up the hill to the cabin on the top there. But we'll give him plenty of room. Hey, bear. Don't mess with me. I have at least five flares. I think I have five flares. I'm not afraid to use them. Now, once we get ourselves a knife and a hatchet, we will be able to really start knocking out some of these uh, objectives, especially that hatchet. We'll be able to get uh, the uh, reclaimed wood taken care of real quick. Uh, and, uh, well, a hatchet and a whetstone would be ideal. But uh, we'll be able to get the reclaimed wood taken care of, and then we'll be able to also uh, get our firewood needs taken care of. So we're going to want to dedicate a day or two just to accumulating a, a, a absolute ton of firewood. Now, sometimes there's a wolf, a patrol wolf out here that likes to patrol this area, so we just need to be ready 
And I think, oh, there's some rabbits frolicking over there. So that's a good sign, at least. And they're not screaming. So, then you got Jackrabbit Island over there. But, um... I think this is a situation where if we get chased, we'll, uh... Pop the flare. Not right now, though. I think we're good now. I do need to grab some of this old man's beard so we can uh, actually craft some. Since we don't have antiseptic, so we can actually make up a. Uh, well, I, need, I need three of them. That with the bandage, I'll be able to. There it is. There's the other two. I'll be able to uh, have a antiseptic bandage. So if we get attacked, we won't die of infection. At least. Okay, let's get going inside of this house here. Stumble our way up. I wish I had the storm lantern already. Stumble our way up the uh, the stairs and, and get to bed. Okay, let me find those stairs. Man, not even really that tired. That's the thing. If I had the storm lantern, I'd be able to go all all uh, through the night just exploring each of these houses. But as it stands now, I don't have anything like that. So. I think maybe the cave system will have one. Um, I'm trying to think where else I could probably find a rifle here. Uh, the lookout is probably the best place. Maybe for a rifle and a knife, or maybe a rifle and maybe a hatchet. So maybe we should head up there after we loot this house. Probably should have went up there to to begin with. But uh, oh man, I don't know. I kind of almost just want to pop a flare, just so we can keep going. We got five of them. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do that. All right. Mm, winter coat. Ah, uh, what quality winter coat is better than the? Oh, the, we'll, we'll we'll switch out our mittens. I think. Worn winter coat. Man, this guy is all about his winter coats, wasn't he? Bit of a coat snob. Okay, there's a. I'm pretty sure that what, what we have here is going to be better. That's a really good comparison, actually. Let's go over to our clothes. Uh. Drop those mittens. Drop those jeans. Drop that sweater. Yeah. Alright, drop those socks. Alright, throw all that stuff on real quick. Let's take a look here. Okay, so that is better. Alright, let's drop that then. No need to carry around that weight. Those mittens are going to be way better than the ones we just dropped. All right, let's get going here. I want to burn up this flare without actually doing right thermal. Let's leave those behind. I think we have better, better than that. Leave those behind. We already got ourselves some sports socks. Heavy wool sweater. Oh yeah. I don't care what condition mine's in right now. I'm dropping it for that because I can repair it. So I'm, I'm actually going. Ah, we'll keep it. We'll just keep it on hand. Uh, what do we got here? Soda drawer. Ah, medicine cabinet. I wonder if I missed the medicine cabinet in the last couple cabins. I don't know. Maybe I did miss those. If so, my bad. Right, let's keep going here. Let's see if we got any rifle rounds or anything here. Nope, nothing there. Not seeing anything there. Could have missed it on the way up, I guess. Not seeing. It's a little bit different. I'm trying to look for... My eyes aren't used to searching with a red tint all over the place, or a red hue or whatever. Oh, there's another flare, so we can basically just replace the one we just used for this to search. Oh, sewing kit, that's going to be good. It's going to be really good for us. Alright, now let's go in here see what we can find here. Nothing, no rabbit, no nothing. Ah. Uh, that's okay, tell me. I got I got food for you. More wood matches. Banged up tomatoes. So what I think I'll do is I'll just use my flare throughout the... I'll, I have five more flares left. I'll just use those throughout this night. And then I'll try to explore as far as I can into the day. And then I'll sleep. Um, hopefully I'll just go all the way through to tomorrow night. And then, then I'll just sleep through tomorrow night. Oh, I thought there was a can opener there for some reason. I thought I saw one. Sardines, we'll take that. 
Nothing there. Best be prepared Ragged for wool. anything. I think the one we have on is better, but we'll double check. Let's check. Oh, no, I'm not even wearing the one that I have. Oh, wait. That's thin. Which one's better? The thin one is right now. Yeah, let's drop this one. That's the one I did just pick up. Okay. Shelf anything there? Anything in the fridge? How about the freezer? Oh, yeah. I have a good feeling about this one. Yeah. That's why my feelings never matter. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Okay. Did I miss anything on the way in? I don't think so. Okay. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and end episode one there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me go ahead and pause this. I'm not burning the flare. Thank you so much for watching. I just noticed it was just past the half hour mark. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, please do so. And I'll see you in episode number two of the Whiteout Challenge. Y'all take care.